The Reds have invaded Tangeria, and they now control the mountains to the west. The new Green King Grin has opposed this move by the Reds, and he has deployed his forces to take back the mountains for the Greens. The Reds prevented the Greens from getting into Tangeria by setting defences up on the Great Southern Bridge, and the Reds won a ferric victory against the Green Nation. Now overly confident, General Redberg orders a counter-attack across the bridge in retaliation to the Green attack. Only two questions remain. Who will win? And can the Red Army cross this bridge? So the time has come for Red Revenge. The Reds aren't happy that the Greens just tried attacking them across this bridge right here. The Greens were defeated and now it's the Reds turn to go on the offensive and take their revenge on the Green Sekbot army and what's left of the Green military under this colonel right here who I want you to name in the comments section of this video. I'll pick the best one. So anyway, the Greens have built this wall to try and stop the Red Army from crossing this bridge. Um, they've also used bulldozers and what's left of their tanks to push up some of their tanks. They've pushed some of them into the river and they've pushed some of them into this position right here to, to sort of prevent the Reds from getting across. The Reds are, have been tasked with destroying it and securing this side of the bridge. Both sides have no interest yet in blowing the bridge up, even though they are more than capable of doing so because both sides are completely confident at the moment that they can destroy each other and they want to use this bridge to get across into Greenland. Well, the Reds do anyway. And the Greens want to use this bridge to get their armies across into Tangeria. So that's going to be hard, you see, because they've got a lot of AA on either side. Um, so p using planes could be quite difficult. They could use boats, I suppose. Um, so maybe that's something for a future video. But for now, we're going to be watching as the Reds cross this bridge. So can they do it? Let me know. So let's press the start button and find out. So clearly, Mr. General, Qu well, Colonel Question Mark over here is more than ready to deal with these Reds. We are going to be playing it in 0.5 speed, by the way. Um, I just feel like it makes for a more cinematic experience. And uh, yeah, I know that you guys are into these bridge videos. So, oh, also big thank you for um, over 50,000 views on the last bridge video. I don't know why, but my bridge videos always seem to do well. Um, you guys must like them the best, I guess. They must have like the best thumbnails or something. I don't know what's going on. But I just came back from holiday. You know, I, I spent some time with um, the girlfriend. And uh, yeah, it was nice to come back from a holiday after a week and see that uh, we've been getting some good views on this channel um, as of recent and I, I wanted to say thank you to everyone because uh, obviously it makes me feel like it's all worthwhile if uh, we're, we're progressing to where we want to go. Um, I'm aiming for 60,000 subscribers at the moment so I'm excited to see if we can hit that goal so please help me out by subscribing, liking and commenting on this video. Um, I would much appreciate it. There's also links to all my other social medias in the description as well. You can access them all through a new Beacon um, website that I've made, which contains all of the information you would need to access any of my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, the lot. 
So the Reds are now on the offensive. Look, they're bringing some T-55s forward. Uh, artillery. Oh, look at that round going across. Where's it going to hit? Oh, direct hit right there. This is not good. Oh, there goes the... Whoa! It's so bright. Oh, it's like they've shot a mini nuke at that or something. Damn! So there goes the wall. Hopefully it's not the bridge. No, the bridge is still intact. But there goes the wall on the bridge. Now the reds have a clear passage through to attack the greens. The greens are bringing up some tanks and some of their sec bots. They have tweaked them a little bit now, so they should be a little bit better in battle. Still extremely slow, though. Maybe the other factions need to get their hands on some similar technology themselves. The Colonel? The Colonel's dead! No, we're still going to name him. We, we need to name this battle as well. Maybe we could call it the uh, the second battle for the bridge. Oh, that's not healthy. They're flying. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we'll do to make that look realistic. We've got a cool idea. What we'll do is we're going to select these guys and we're going to sort of move them on top of there, like that. And yeah, jobs are good in. So here comes the rest of the Reds. This is a part two video, by the way, to the last video. Um, like I say, uh, because you guys liked it so much, I thought we'd do another one. And here comes the majority of their army. That's a lot of RPKs right there. We've got so, a squad leader. You can always tell who the squad leader is because they have a beret. I was thinking about re-implementing some of the roleplay aspects uh, to Army Men of War in the future as well. So expect some changes to the Discord in the coming weeks, um, as I will be adding some stuff back. That looked like it glowed then, did you see it? It's like it, that artillery had a trace around. A lot of green station here, there are everywhere at the moment. I think they're pretty confident that the Reds aren't going to get across this bridge. Got some sec bots over here as well. Um, like I said, they're all armed with M60s, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how they perform. Here comes the main bulk of their army. How did he get there? Oh! All those bullets that went into him there. Here they come. The reason, another reason that I'm playing it in slow motion as well is because we've been getting a lot of crashing issues lately. Oh, direct hit. That was cool to see. And the Reds are literally untouched. Could you imagine if they win this battle as well? They've had a very successful campaign into the Western Mountains so far. Oh, a truck's just appeared with some reinforcements, literally. No idea how it just, <laughs> just came out of nowhere, but uh, I'll accept it, you know. We'll just pretend it drove into the map. Uh, their uh, AA guns have been taken out now. So realistically, the Reds could use their airstrikes. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let me know in the comments if... In the next video, they should they should probably blow the bridge up. Uh, so if the Reds do get across, I think the Greens probably probably would blow the bridge up, wouldn't they? They would detonate it just for safety reasons. But until we get to that point, there's no need. It's a bit like um, for some of you old school viewers out there, there's a movie called the Bad, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and there's a scene where you've got both the Union and the Confederacy on either side of a bridge and neither side have been ordered to blow it up so the Union Colonel he orders uh, Clint Eastwood and his buddy to blow the bridge up so they can all go home really because it's just a waste of lives and it's pretty much the same situation in this circumstance right here you've got soldiers on either side of the bridge they don't want to be here they feel like they don't need to be here but they're here they could just blow it up and move their troops elsewhere, but no, nope. both sides see this as a, as a key position, I guess. What's 
more, more reinforcements reinforcing the area now. Very cool to watch. Plenty, plenty of reds over here. Let's start bringing them up, shall we? Let's get a full hoorah charge on the go. That's it, that's what we want to see. Same with you guys, come on. Oh, how's that tank gonna do? Oh, it looks so cool and so. Oh, there he goes! He's dangled off the edge. It's like that scene from Lion King. Long live the king. <laughs> oh. Green's taking some hits now. Here comes that charge. Just what I want to see. The Greens have somehow managed to get one of their supply vehicles or one of their trucks over here to uh, inspect the area. I suppose to these guys, they can't see what I see, you see. Only I can see what I see, being the god of war and everything. Using their RPGs wisely. Taking some shots from the hills. So beautiful. Let me know if you prefer slow motion in the battles. Maybe it helps because you can see more, or do you prefer it faster? I can make it even slower as well, but it just gets a little bit... It gets, it gets a little bit too slow if we go any slower than this. I think this is perfect. There's definitely some sort of glowing effect on that ammo. Let's check that out. So far, so good. Ain't no reds getting across this bridge. Who are you as well? Tell me in the comment section, what faction do you follow? Who do you support? If you was to put yourself in this universe, who would you be? Would you be blue? Would you be green? Would you be tan? Would you be red? Would you be grey? Where did he come from? Have I got Fog of War turned on or something? Reinforcements are just popping out of nowhere. Literally. Um, also, I do have another Army Man of War series in the works. I thought uh, that I would probably give it in a quick announcement. And the next series, I'm hoping to build it in Gates of Hell or Call to Arms. And I want it to be very strict around early Cold War and World War II. Um, uh, and I want to kind of stick it to that theatre. Make it more realistic to the Plastic Apocalypse world by Michael Ackerman. Because I feel like that's a really accurate depiction of war using plastic army men um, whereas army men of war in this world is very arcadey in comparison so my goal is to make it more realistic for you guys to watch more warlike ah oh, the artillery is hitting the greens it's a stalemate at the minute a complete stalemate bring in another tank though should we take some shots with these Let's take let's take a magic blind shot with this missile truck right here. See if we can get it right in the center, right there. Aim, come on. That's the one. Oh. That's beautiful. Imagine being one of these soldiers on the ground. So cool. Another artillery shell just took out some of the sec bots. Remember, they are very limited. They've only got a couple of thousands of these things. And they must have used a few hundred of them at least in the last two, two battles. I can imagine since they have now upped their technology, that every faction, there's going to be a tech war now. There he goes, he's falling. Another tank hits the river. But yeah, there's definitely going to be some sort of tech war tech race between all the factions now so who is this Gunther Greystein guy the guy that makes all of these cool technologies like the big boom the uh he was the same guy that was harnessing the power of Mount Vulcan in the center of Plastica they all decided to use the power of the volcano to help them with their fossil fuels 
Basically, imagine turning a volcano into a giant power power station. That would be so cool. Unlimited power, basically. Using the core of the earth. Okay, we've got some APCs coming around now. This could be the counter-attack from the greens. That's if they can get across, because they'll have to come around here, go over this hill, round there, then over the bridge. But it looks pretty damn blocked over here. Greens refusing to give up. Let's do another charge from the Reds. Let's just send every man they've got. Same with you guys. Tank forward. Tank forward. You're no longer on the defense. General Redberg wants you to attack. For the Red Union. We've got another missile right here as well. We're going to shoot this. The question is where do we shoot it? I don't think we've got any range. We're going to bring it forward actually. We're going to bring this missile truck forward. See how close we can get and see if we can get like a... You know, like a ferric shot on them. Come on, guys. Get up that battlefield. The one with the rifle shoots. When the one with the rifle is dead. Such a good scene. There we go. That's what we want to see. Beautiful. It's in the barracks. So much death. This is so cool. Think of the possibilities, dudes, that we could do with this game. Like, it just doesn't end. I mean, we've been making Army Men of War videos now for years, and I'm still full of ideas. Like, literally. That's why this just. I just don't think it was ever going to stop. I think that it's just going to get better and better and better and better. Especially as time progresses, because the mods are getting better. Okay, the, these guys are regrouping. Taking heavy fire from the APCs down there now. This could be a red loss. Oh, they've decided to throw tanks. No, it's a truck. <laughs> um, you should have saw, right, I was doing the test phase earlier. I wish I recorded it. But I saw this shadow moving across the ground. And I was like, I never put planes in this battle. Then I looked in the sky and there was literally a tank flying through the sky. Or well, the Reds have stopped bringing in reinforcements, I think. No, they're still bringing them in. We've got a couple more of these guys back here as well. Let's move these forward. Put these on the attack. See if we get a couple more shots off. Oh, imagine all three of them shooting at the same time. This could be the clearance that the Reds need to get through. Look at the state of that bridge. If you guys do want to see some behind the scenes footage as well, I'd be happy to start doing more live streams. Um, you guys will just have to let me know what you want me to live stream. That is beautiful. No, no. He just bumped into him and kind of killed his own men. The damage. Oh, this is brutal. The greens on the wall, no! And that's that. <laughs> All they need to do now is reload and keep shooting those missiles across. Terrible, terrible day for the greens. But again, they lost two of their trucks because of the stupidity. Should we try and move these guys across the river like a secret force moving across? Some of you guys in the last video was like, did you recycle this map from like my most viral video? Like, this, um, My most viral video is this same map, but yes I did. I recycled the map and I didn't see the point in making pr practically the same 
bridge map is what I mean already, so I just re reused an older one. And I've adapted it quite a lot. The river's pretty much the same, the bridge is the same. But in terms of their defences on either side, there's like it's a lot more rockier and there is a lot more soldiers on either side. And it's different factions as well. Every faction's got different tanks, every faction's um, got different units, so it's it's interesting to see. And uh, like I say, you guys seem to really dig these bridge battles. They always seem to get pushed to people's recommended, which is pretty cool. So if you're new and watching this video, um, welcome, welcome to the channel. Um, do stick around and could we get involved? Join the join the Discord. Uh, I love to talk to you guys about what we can implement to the series because, like I say, um, we tend to write the series as we go. It's n nothing's really pre-written. No, tip the tank over. What's going on? So uh, yeah, it'd be nice to get you guys involved. Don't be shy. Drop me a DM or something, or just comment on this video and upvote the best answers. If you upvote them, you see, I think we average on around two, three hundred comments per video at the moment. So I think if you upvote the best comment, it goes to show that you guys really dig what that person is saying. So, oh, look at this! We've got like the twins coming in. The reds are like, we've made it through, and then like the greens coming, like, not today. I forgot what these tanks are called. Tell me in the comments what these tanks are called. Is it something like Wolverine or something? I can't remember. If not, they should be. I, I love the way the tracks look. How they're like the sort of left on show. Definitely World War II tanks. Oh, here comes the next wave of missiles, I think. Guns flying through the air, helmets. Think of all these plastic families. Every one of these, apart from the uh, robots, of course, would have wives. Plastic wives and children at home. That's another aspect I want to raise in in my next Army Men series. And that's the personal life of a plastic army man. And I sort of want to merge the two worlds together, both the human dimension and the plastic dimension. I want to sort of make it alien-like, but still very nostalgic to when we was when we was younger. So a lot of long grass and things like that. Uh, the greens are really holding their own. The artillery's done really well. So reform the line. Loads of greens. I don't think the reds. Have, the reds have barely got an attack force now. Let's try one less attack from the reds. If they fail, we're going to give this one to the greens, and that's fair, you know. The Reds have won so many battles in a row. They still technically own the riches of the Western Mountains, but today they're not invading Greenland, I suppose. And then I'm going to let you guys decide. In fact, I'm going to give it to the Community tab. We're going to do a poll, I think. So keep an eye on the, the Community tab in the next two days. Um, day One to two days or so. Because we'll do a poll and we'll vote whether or not they blow the bridge up or not. I'll let you guys decide. You could be the judge, jury, and executioner. Literally. Think of, like, your decisions cost the lives of many plastic soldiers. Okay, and here comes the RPK army. Remember, um, these guys are all under the command of General Redberg. General Redberg is Emperor Ruskin. The Red Emperor Ruskin's right-hand man is the head of his military. A very experienced uh, general. Oh, he just evaporated. <laughs> Good gun, boys. Oh. I wonder if we could actually get a guy in this truck. You, sir. You get in? No, it's dead. Never mind. That tank's actually still alive. <laughs> He's turned into a submarine. Uh, this is a win for the Greens. We've got one last tank moving forward now. Other than that, the Reds are still bringing in some troops, but it's nowhere near enough to... Uh, Take the bridge. 
It is definitely a stalemate. The greens couldn't take it from the reds. The reds couldn't take it from the greens. I think... Yeah, th there's just no stopping them, really. The greens still have a ton of men in reserve. Look, they're even back here. They've got robots. They've, like, deliberately lined the soldiers up just in case they do get through. Heavy robots. I think these have, like... The average health for a soldier on this is, like... I think it's, like, 300 or something. These guys are at health of, like, 3,000. So, that's, like, 10 times the amount of a standard infantryman. It's a shame we didn't really see them in action. Because, look. If we, uh... Oh! This could turn the tide of the battle. Some artillery. But yeah, they're armed with these beautiful M60s. Oh, he's out of ammo, that guy, so never mind. So yeah, this is a stalemate. Neither side took the bridge. The answer is, can the Red Army take the bridge? And that is no. And can the Green Army take the bridge? And that is also a no. So yeah, I think we're going to call it there and we're going to move to the next phase of the battle. So let me know what you want to see. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Visit all my social medias. Links are in the description. I think we're going to gather what's left of the Red Forces now and think of another way that we can attack Greenland and maybe try and get hold of their robots. I think that's the key objective. So yeah. There goes their artillery. I will see you all in the next one.